Coming to the second problem, find a quadratic polynomial each with the given numbers as a product and sum of its zeros respectively. So the first one given to us is 1 by 4 and minus 1. So the sum of the zeros of the polynomial is equal to 1 by 4 and their product is equal to minus 1. So let us assume the quadratic polynomial as ax square plus bx plus c. We know that sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a. But the given sum of the zeros is equal to 1 by 4. So we can say that minus b is equal to 1 and a is equal to 4. That is b is equal to 1 and a is equal to 4. Also the product of zeros is equal to c by a which is nothing but the given product is equal to minus 1. So we can write c is equal to minus a. We also found the value of a to be 4. Therefore, c is equal to minus a nothing but minus 4. Therefore, we got the values of a as 4, b as minus 1 and c as minus 4. Now, substituting the value of a, b and c in the polynomial ax square plus bx plus c, we will be getting the polynomial as 4x square minus x minus 4. Hence, the required polynomial is 4x square minus x minus 4. Now, coming to the second bit. The sum of the zeros given is root 2 and the product is 1 by 3. So let us assume the required quadratic polynomial to be ax square plus bx plus c. We know that sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a and the given sum of the zeros to us is root 2. So this can be written as root 2 by 1. So by comparing we can say b is equal to minus root 2 and a is equal to 1. Also we know that the product of zeros is equal to c by a which is nothing but the product is given to us is 1 by 3. So we can say that c is equal to a by 3. But we have found the value of a to be 1 by 3. So finally we got a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus root 2 and c is equal to 1 by 3. Substituting the values of a b and c in the a polynomial ax square plus bx plus c we will be getting x square in place of b we can write root 2 which is root 2x and in place of c we can write 1 by 3. So the required polynomial is x square minus root 2 times of x plus 1 by 3. Now coming to the third bit, the sum of the zeros given to us is 0 and the product of the zeros is equal to root 5. So let us assume the required quadratic polynomial to be ax square plus bx plus c. We know that the sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a 
and the given sum of the zeros is equal to zero so that we can write zero can be written as zero by one so b is equal to zero and a is equal to one now the product of the zeros is equal to c by a and the given product of the zeros is root 5 so we can write c is equal to on cross multiplication c is equal to root 5 times of a but we found the value of a to be 1 so root 5 times of 1 is nothing but root 5 so finally we found out the values of a b and c that is a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 and c is equal to root 5. So let us substitute a b c in a x square plus b x plus c will be getting 1 times of x square plus 0 times of x plus root 5 which is equal to x square plus root 5. Therefore the required polynomial is x square plus root 5. Coming to the fourth bit, the sum of the zeros given to us is 1 and the product of zeros is also equal to 1. So let the quadratic polynomial be ax square plus bx plus c. We know that sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a and the given sum of the zeros to us is 1. So this can be written as 1 by 1. By comparing we can say that b is equal to minus 1 and a is equal to 1. We also know that the product of the zeros is equal to c by a. The given product to us is 1. So this can be written as c is equal to a by cross multiplication. We also found the value of a to be 1. Therefore c is equal to in place of a we can write 1. Finally a is 1 and b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to 1. Let us substitute the values of a, b and c in the polynomial ax square plus bx plus c. Then we will get x square minus x plus 1. Hence the required quadratic polynomial is x square minus x plus 1. Coming to the fifth bit, the given sum of the zeros is equal to minus 1 by 4 and the product of the zeros is equal to 1 by 4. So let us assume the required quadratic polynomial to be ax square plus bx plus c. We know that sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a and the given sum of zeros is minus 1 by 4. So by comparison we can write minus b is equal to minus 1 that becomes b is equal to 1 and also a is equal to 4 and we know that the product of the zeros is equal to c by a. And the given product to us is 1 by 4. So we can write c is equal to a by 4 by cross multiplication. But we found the value of a to be 4. In place of a we can write 4. That is 4 divided by 4 which is equal to 1. Therefore c is equal to 1. Finally we found the value of a as 4, b as 1 and c as 1. 
So let us substitute the values of a, b and c in ax square plus bx plus c. Then we will be getting 4 times x square plus 1 times of x plus 1 which is nothing but 4x square plus x plus 1. Hence the required quadratic polynomial is 4x square plus x plus 1. Now coming to the sixth bit, the given sum of the zeros is equal to 4 and the product of the zeros is equal to 1. Let us assume the required quadratic polynomial to be ax square plus bx plus c. We know that sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a and the given sum of the zeros to us is 4. This can be written as 4 by 1. So by comparison we can write minus b is equal to 4 which is nothing but b is equal to minus 4. Also a is equal to 1. The product of the zeros is equal to c by a and the given product of the zeros to us is 1. By cross multiplication we can write c is equal to a. We have found the value of a to be 1. So c is equal to 1. Finally we got the value of a as 1, the value of b as minus 4 and the value of c as 1. Therefore substituting the values of a, b and c in ax square plus bx plus c, we will be getting 1 times x square plus minus 4 times x plus 1. This becomes x square minus 4x plus 1. Hence the required quadratic polynomial is x square minus 4x plus 1.